are TRW Crew, Matt Masala here with rhinestoneworld.com and today we are going to customize a chair for out of the baseball field. So we have our logo here that we've been using a lot of lately. We're going to put a Sarasota Sting Sister of number 20 on the back of the chair here. Then we're going to put a little logo on the front show you how easy this is to do. So I'm using my Caesar Easyweed heat transfer vinyl here. As you can see, this is a two color design. So obviously it needed two separate cuts. We're going to go with the black first, so I'm just going to stick that to the wall here. And let's go ahead and get this lined up on our 16 by 20 Hotronics Auto Clam Heat Press. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go on the corner of the press. Now you can get smaller platens to make this a lot easier, but you can still do it if you still have your big 16 by 20 platen. I'm going to go ahead and get a quick pre-press here. And then I'm going to come down with my material here. And I'm just going to get this lined up nice. Now what you could do if you wanted to, see how it's moving around a little bit? You can actually use some heat tape as well. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab some heat tape here. All right, so I got some heat tape here. You can also use hot fix tape if you don't have heat tape. And I'm just going to tape the edges here so I can keep this secure on my actual chair as I'm doing it. So let's bring the chair back up here. Get it lined up in the corner. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this down here nicely. And this time, we're gonna put our heat tape on it. So that's gonna secure it down a little bit better for us here. So it stays in the same spot. And then we're gonna go ahead and press this design. So everything's looking lined up pretty good. I see the top right there. I can probably add a little tape to the top right there. So. Let me go ahead and grab a little bit more tape here. You just want to keep it nice and flat. There we go. And that there. I got the S that's coming off the edge a little bit. So I'm actually going to do probably two separate presses on this one. So we're going to go down for our initial press first. And I'm going to go down for about 8 to 10 seconds here just to get that Initial press down pretty good. And let's start peeling it up slowly. Just to make sure it got, now I'm not sure if it got the bottom of that S, which it looks like it did. Perfect. All right, so now what we did, you can see I just brought a chair over here and I just have our chair sitting on a chair. Now I have our orange and we're gonna go ahead and layer this on top here. So let's go ahead and get our orange lined up nicely here. I'm going to press that down, get this spread out, press this down here. So that's looking like it's lined up pretty good there. We got our gray showing through on the chair and then we can come down with our press here and we're going to get that two color. It's actually going to be a three color look with only two heat transfer vinyls. So again, I'm going to go about eight to 10 seconds here. Let's go ahead and pull this up. We can slowly start pulling this off here. And you can see how awesome that looks. So we have our Sarasota Sting, sister of number 20, on the back of the chair now. And then we're just gonna put the logo real quick on the front. So this one should be a lot easier. We got a lot less, a lot more room to actually work with. So I'm just going to go right here on the front and drop my SS right in the middle there. And let's just hold the chair right in this corner area. So I just got to make sure the chair is all the way open because as the chair folds, your area starts to close a little bit. So that looks pretty good right there, right in the middle. I would say that's looking pretty straight. Let's go ahead and press this down. And this one I'm only going to do about four to five seconds because I know I have a good press on it. We'll slowly start peeling that off. And you can see that black hit it perfect. And now we're going to come back. We're going to use a little bit of our heat tape. We're going to grab our orange here off the wall. As you can see, we're still doing some construction here at the warehouse. So we have some different areas, don't really have our video room done yet. 
but we are still going to teach all of you how to do everything we know. So let me go ahead and open this up. Let's get our SS lined up perfect here. That's looking great right there. Everything's lined up nice. And we can come down and press this here now. And now I'm going to go about 8 to 10 seconds for my full application for the logo on the front here. So you can see, you get a little creative. You can actually take this off. You can take this material off with a couple tools, but save some time. I knew I could still press this, and you can see we have our logo on the front now. We have our Sarasota Sting Sister of number 20 on the back. Customized chair, something pretty cool is going to get you some attention out of those fields. So, hope this video helped you out. If you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941 755 1696. This is Matt with the RhinestoneWorld.com. You guys have a great day.